It's another edition of Behind the Mic with Audiophile Magazine. I'm Joe Reed. Emily Connolly, who is an editor at Audiophile, is with me for the whole week. And here are things I know about Emily. She loves YA and children's books and fantasy. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yes, but it we're is. starting with something a little different today. Today we're listening to a new nonfiction book. That was from oh. somebody whose work I've really appreciated in the realm of podcasting. It is By the Fire We Carry, The Generations Long Fight for Justice on Native Land. And it's written and narrated by Rebecca Nagel. Oh, she was, she had a podcast on Crooked Media. Yes, This Land is the name of her podcast. And I first heard about mm -hmm. this story there, I think, in the first season of that podcast. And she was tracing this story. So it was great to, since I have listened to that, to get to have a deeper dive into the subject and a fuller look at um, the impact of this ruling in the Supreme Court. Well, why don't you give a, a brief overview about what she's writing about? Sure. So this is about a significant uh, Supreme Court case from 2020 about the Muscogee Nation that wound up with the largest land restoration for Native tribal people in American history, specifically in Oklahoma. And that didn't just affect the Muscogee Nation, but other nations, including her own, the Cherokee Nation, um, within Oklahoma. And the reviews for this book have been really kind of spectacular because she looks at a lot of material, but presents it not just lucidly, but really compellingly. Yes. And I one thing that I really appreciated was she's giving you a lot of details about these specific cases, what happened with those individual people, but also gives the broader context within the Muscogee Nation and how it relates to the Cherokee Nation, her family's background and the roles they played in all these different parts of Cherokee history. And she ties it all together really well. And I think that context can give you a broader understanding of this story and why it's so important. Well, let's talk about the all-important question of the author narrating her own work. Yes, I... Like I said, I know her from her podcasting work, so I was familiar with her voice. She's got a great narration style, very easy to understand. And when she's talking about some of the more personal parts of the story, you can hear a little bit more emotion in her voice, but generally, you know, very good at relating the facts of the story. You know, it's interesting. Her, her sister is the playwright, Mary Catherine Nagel. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, who wrote a play called Sovereignty about Native rights in Oklahoma. So that's very interesting. Oh, that is anyway, interesting. So. We can hear a little bit of it if you want. This gives us a little bit of the background from her introduction to the book. Okay, this is By the Fire We Carry, written and read by Rebecca Nagel. Since it became a state, Oklahoma acted as if all reservations within its borders were abolished. For over a century the Muscogee Reservation was denied. While that might sound like a reservation no longer exists, that's not what the law says. On August 8, 2017, the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals, one step below the Supreme Court, upheld the Muscogee Reservation. This is a big F deal, Deer wrote in her post. My tribal nation has a recognized reservation again. The case would ultimately go all the way to the Supreme Court. Their decision would become one of the most important rulings of this century for Indigenous land and treaty rights. I would spend the next six years reporting on the case, first for news articles, then a podcast, and eventually this book. Well, wow, so she has lived with this case for years. Yes. Yeah. I don't have a huge background in the legal system or the Supreme Court. So for me, it was very interesting to learn more about that, what it's like following these different cases, the timeline, how it can stretch on and on like that, but mm -hmm. also just lots of great details. And one thing to note, when if you're listening to the audiobook, like I did, it's kind of worth picking up the book from the library too. There are photographs and illustrations and maps that you don't get with the audiobook, unfortunately. So I found that at the library and 
page through and it was helpful to see some of that information as well. I'm such a believer in maps. They're so important when you're you, completely when you're dealing with something like this, you know, yes. a displacement across the country where people are settling in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So definitely I highly recommend listening. I think Rebecca's excellent narrator of her work and just try to find the maps also. <laughs> Yeah, pop by your pop by your library. Support your local library. That's always a good thing. Exactly. I, say. I agree. <laughs> so that is the fire we carry, written and read by Rebecca Nagel. Emily, thank you so much. I shall talk to you tomorrow. Great. Thank you, Joe. Support for Behind the Mic comes from Dreamscape, an award-winning audiobook publisher with a catalog that includes authors L.J. Shen, Frida McFadden, and Annie Erno. I'm Joe Reed. I'll talk to you tomorrow.